Okay, when Google Bard launched as its sort of version of chat GPT, it left a little bit to be desired. For example, it couldn't do any programming or programming languages. Well, that's changed now and it does programming. So without further ado, why don't we check out what Google Bard can do in terms of programming for an idiot like me? Let's get to it. So as you can see, I'm in here, Google Bard. So I asked it, I said, I understand you can now write code. Yeah, this is correct. I can now write in 20 programming languages, including Java, C++, Python, JavaScript, Go, and TypeScript, blah de blah de blah I can also help debug and explain code. Here are some examples of what I can do. Generate code from scratch, rewrite existing code, optimize code for speed or efficiency, debug code to find and fix errors, explain code to users. I'm still under development, but I'm learning more about code every day. I'm excited to see how I can be used to help people write better code. Now, I am not a programmer or a coder. Yeah, I know a, like a sprinkling of HTML. Yeah, but you know, if I wanted to build a site or anything, I just use WordPress. Yeah, because it would just drag and drop, that kind of thing, you know. But just as a quick example here. So I put in here, write me HTML code for a landing page to collect emails. I want the send email button to be read. OK, let's just see. Now, look, I get it. Super simple, super simple. This is like HTML code in 101, probably the first thing you learn, you know. Anyway, but anyway, I just want to sort of demonstrate how easy it is. OK, and there it goes. Here's the HTML code for a landing page to collect emails with a red email button. Uh, the CSS can be customized for your liking. For example, you can change the color, font, and size of the text. This is an example of how to change the color of the send email button to red. Now, I asked it to put it in red, so we'll see. I'm looking at this, the code here. Okay, so what we'll do, like we're just going to put this into uh, just a text document as per normal, uh, notepad. Just drop that in there. Super simple stuff. Bard landing. I've, I did one in um, chat GPT earlier just to see. Okay, and we'll save it as HTML. Okay, so look, there we are. Look, look, not mind blowing. Anything like that. Okay. Um, so I wanted the button to be red. Now, being complete novice, where do I put the CSS? Okay. Where in the code do I put the CSS? Okay. Now, look, I, I know I'm just, for the purposes of just being simple, I'm just showing how, you know, this changes things. So it's telling me this is the most organized way. Now, when I did it with chat GPT, it actually put the code all in for me. Google Board's not doing it. It's, I want it to, okay. Because Google, Google Bard is just telling me, you know, that this is the most organized way to add CSS to your HTML. You can create a separate CSS file and link it to your HTML document. That makes it easy to keep your CSS code organized from your HTML code. For example, to change the color of the buttons to red, create a CSS file called style SS and, and add the following CSS to it. Then you would link the CSS file in your HTML document using link element in the head section. And then it's giving me a, a code snippet so it's telling me rather than uh, it's saying this is a much more efficient way of organizing the css rather than including it in the in the overall just like so i could drop it just drop it into a page if we quickly go to chat gpt so here here when i asked chat gpt i asked it um here like for instance position the opt-in page you can modify the css code to make because I wanted to put in a background and then it it added it all in here okay so then all I had to do if we go to this version in which I put a picture in uh just to sort of sh to show you and this is where we want to get to with Google Bard but all I had to do literally is just copy that code put it in that text document and yeah I had to link a picture that's fine but the result was this OK, so obviously I put the picture in here. I didn't ask for a red button or anything. I just got a blue one there. You put the email, you know, you put your email in there. And Bob's your uncle. Obviously, I wouldn't, you know, I'd probably change the, the lettering and stuff like that. This is where I was with chat GPT, creating a simple landing page. You know, as I say, obviously, I'd do something about that. So that stood out. But that was very early stages. Google Bard is assuming I know 
a bit about CSS and not including it in the main code and telling me, oh, create this separate file. Now, I know that's simple enough, but you still need, I think, a little bit of programming knowledge to or, or, or to, uh, to sort of understand. So rewrite with the CSS included in the overall HTML. So it's all contained, right? Okay, so that I've asked it specifically, but there are other drafts, of course. One of the codes different. That's it's got different codes. So actually, why don't we just check with to see which versions it come up? Because that's the diff, that's the interesting thing. So if we go back to the Notepad on Bard Landing, and we're going to call it. I'm just going to replace all of that, and then I'm going to save this. Okay, draft one. Okay, wow. So there it is. Beautiful. It's given me. That's I like that. It's given me a nice red button there. Put the emails in there. I like that. Okay. Obviously, I haven't added the picture yet. We'll do the picture. We'll ask. You know, I want to include a picture. So rewrite that. But let's have a look at see what draft two of the code is. And this is the difference between Chat GPT and you know Google Bard is you get these different drafts because I never thought about that. You get different drafts of the code. Uh, which is very interesting. So why don't we do a new one? This is going to be draft bar draft two. Okay. So it's just put it over there on the, on the corner where the other one was uh, centralized and the typeface is slightly different. There, you see, I much prefer this typeface. So the, the font's different, the position of the email capture. I mean, I prefer this one, but let's just, you know, for consistency sake, let us, Look at the third draft of the code um, and see what comes up here. So again, we're going to just save this. And again, let's have a look, see what that looks like. Okay, very similar. Yeah, so overall, I like um, draft one just because of the typeface and the font. I know I can change that. We'll go back to Bard. We'll go back to the first one and go, okay, that's great. I want the background to be a picture and it to fill the screen. Rewrite the HTML with this included. Okay, so um, again, I'm having asked to do it. It's just telling me, so it's assuming I know where to put the, the style. Here we go though. Uh, we're gonna copy that. I'm gonna create a new page, put that in there. So where's the picture there? We're just going to put the right file, save. Hopefully that will work. Again, let's have a look. Wow. So there we go. We've got the picture there and everything. I'd probably want to let's let, you know, I could ask Google Bard to centralize that. I'm not sure whether it would go over the eyes. Yeah, so that was the one. Obviously, I used a slightly different picture I used uh, that I'd made, you know, and I could change the typeface, but I don't like the, the typeface that chat G GPT used. And this one, obviously, I used a cleaner picture. Um, I could have used the same picture just for comparison, but I think actually a picture like that is quite cool. Of course, the picture I made in Mid Journey. And we could just ask Bard, I want the opt-in box to be in the center of the screen. Okay, it's going to probably to tell me what I need to change. Again, the display flex property sacrifice. This is great for learning, though. This is, I think if you're learning code because it's explaining. But again, I'm having to tell it to rewrite the HTML with this included. There we are, because I'm lazy. I'm going to replace all of that. Yeah, it's still up there. That's, I'm going to say it's not quite right. The whole of the opt-in box to be in the center of the screen and put it in, not just at the top. This is the, this is the, uh, this is the, the beauty of it really is the fact that, you know, you can sort of just speak naturally. Okay. Sure. I apologize. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll be the judge of that before I put the picture in. Let's copy that. Boom. There we go. Although it's got the send email, it sort of buggered up that send email bit. I quite liked it when it was in, in one line, but that's fine. But there we are in principle. I still got the sign up for our newsletter bit up there. 
I did say just the opt-in box. So then I would go on perhaps and say, bring down the text. But there you go. I think you just need to give Google Bard a few more instructions. Unless, of course, you know, chat GPT just happened to get get it right aesthetically from what I, what I wanted from the, from the get-go. Google Bard, and it told me, oh, yeah, you need to put in this CSS code, whatever. And it's like, do it for me. Yeah, that's... Saying that's not what you, that's what I'm paying you for. Imagine I don't know any coding, and maybe I should have briefed it about that. But there you go. You know, look, I know it's not super complicated or complex or anything like that. Probably do some something more complex. I just wanted to quickly demonstrate that, yeah, Google Bard now has programming in it, albeit a very simple demonstration. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And I will put together a newsletter eventually uh, and hopefully you will see this landing page out in the ether in real life. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you around very, very soon with more AI news and updates. Cheers.